This is Hyper Dip from Dip Your Car. Supposedly, this coating is supposed to feel much smoother. It's supposed to be a deep, richer, darker black. It's supposed to be a lot more durable, and it's supposed to be more stretchier than regular Plasti Dip. I'm gonna be comparing these two products. I got two rims. I'll be spraying one rim with the new Hyper Dip. This is shadow black, and this is regular black Plasti Dip, which I will be spraying the other wheel with. So I'm gonna be comparing the two, and we're gonna see how big of a difference these two products are. Stay tuned, I'm excited to try this one out. Yo, what's going on everybody? Your boy Ehab Halat back again here with another video. And before we jump into this one guys, I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you guys who has supported me, anyone who has subscribed to me, shown me any kind of support. I appreciate you guys because I just hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Never in my life would I ever think I'd hit 10K. Never in my life would I ever think I'd even hit 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, but 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers now, guys. And I got my very own YouTube plaque, 10K, guys, straight from YouTube. No, I'm just messing around. Obviously, this isn't from YouTube, but YouTube, man, you guys should start sending out some plaques uh, for 10K, because that's a huge uh, accomplishment, at least to me, I think that is. This one was actually just made by my wife, just messing around. Um, I mean, it's not the prettiest, but hey, it's the thought that counts. I love it. I'm gonna keep it forever. Huge accomplishment. Let's get right into the video, guys. Hyper Dip, Plasti Dip versus regular Plasti Dip. Let's get to it. Woo! 10K, baby! We got the wheels cleaned. So on this side here, we're gonna be using Plasti Dip. And on this side here, we're gonna be using Hyper Dip. So I'm gonna be spraying them both. We'll see how they spray. We're gonna compare the two at the end, see how they look. I got the cans warming up in some hot water that'll help them spray a lot better. So we're gonna get them warmed up and we'll start spraying. All right guys, this is our first coat of Plasti Dip. And I just dropped it. Our first coat of Hyper Dip. Okay guys, just to show you the first coat. It's very light. This is the Plasti Dip here. I always do a first light coat. Apparently with the Hyper Dip, which is this one here, you gotta do a super, super light coat. But uh, just by spraying the first coat, I could already tell that the Hyper Dip is already gonna be laying on there a lot smoother so uh, you guys will obviously see I will see once uh, we get more coats on there that um, the hyper dip should look and feel a lot more smoother and also have a deeper richer black so we're gonna let this one light coat dry a bit we'll uh, start spraying the second coat soon Coat number two, Hyper Dip. All right guys, so here's the difference so far. I just sprayed the coat, so it's still a little wet. But you could tell with the Plasti Dip on this side here, you go a lot heavier with your second coat. So that's, a, that's coat number two for Plasti Dip. And here's coat number two for the hyper dip. So, two light coats. I got some, a uh, little bit of fish eyes there. Probably clean that up a bit, but uh, it's not a big deal. Those will, go, those will go away. But, yeah, so just two light coats of hyper dip right here. And then for the hyper dip, our next coat should be uh, short. We're gonna do short, wet 
overlapping coat. So with Plastidip, you know, you go pretty heavy without getting runs. Uh, it's pretty easy to spray Plastidip. I've been spraying for years now. Hyperdip, I've just started spraying it, so this is new to me. But uh, I have watched Dip Your Car videos, and that's the that's the way they do it. It's two light coats, and then you start off with the short strokes uh, and heavy, um, not heavy, but wet overlapping coats, not going too heavy, if that makes sense. But yeah, so those are this is coat number two for both of them. We're gonna let them dry a bit, and then we'll do coat number three, and that's when we should see a drastic change. All right, guys, here's coat number three. We're gonna start off with Plasti Dip. Coat number three for the Hyper Dip. So I just sprayed it, so the coats are still completely wet. But here's the Plasti Dip. Here's the Hyper Dip. Hopefully I don't get any runs. This is my very first time spraying Hyper Dip. Uh, I did watch the Dip Your Car video and I tried to follow the directions as best as possible. So we'll see how she looks. This is coat number three, so so far, just by looking at it, I'd say it's not looking too bad for a first timer, but we're gonna let them dry and uh, we'll see how they look when they're completely dry. All right guys, this is coat number four. Coat number four of the Hyper Dip. All right, so here's the Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is drying a lot quicker. You guys can see there's two different techniques to spray the Plasti Dip and the Hyper Dip. The Hyper Dip, you gotta do short, um, wet coat so you can't go too heavy and let it all pool up or you're gonna get runs so you could see here it's nice and wet so we're gonna let that dry but yeah that's sort of how it should look like everything should be all nice and wet it should be it should all dry together it shouldn't be patchy or whatnot and then uh, the plastic dip you guys could see when I sprayed it, you know, you could do uh, nice heavy coats and you know, it's it's a bit more forgiving with Plasti Dip, but with the Hyper Dip, you gotta be very careful with how you spray your coats. You gotta do short coats and you gotta wet them out. Last and final coat, this is coat number six. Okay, the wheels have been dried for about an hour now. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off. Just the excess Plasti Dip. Oh, my favorite part. So satisfying. Peel it off the Hyper Dip one. Ooh, it's a little, uh, it's a little bit of thinner here. Just cause we have to do a quick Quick coats. Just peel that off. Boom, just like that. Can you guys guess which one is Hyper Dip and which one is regular Plasti Dip? If you guys guess this one is the Hyper Dip, you're right. So the main difference I could see between the two is one, 
the hyper dip is definitely a deeper black two I wouldn't say that the hyper dip is a matte finish it looks more of a satin finish compared to regular plasti dip it's got more of a flatter finish I guess the hyper dip does have a little bit of a sheen to it I don't know if you guys could tell in the in the video but you guys could see that the plasti dip one which is this one doesn't really have a sheen at all it's completely flat and then you go over to this one and you can kind of see a little bit of a sheen with the hyper dip so I think that's gonna play a big role in keeping it clean uh, it's gonna be easier to clean and um, I mean it's softer to the touch so um, I think um, brake dust and all that it won't cake up on there and like I said it'll be much easier to clean so those are the two main differences pretty much is it's a satin finish and it's a deeper black uh, both products are still a1 they both work awesome and uh, yeah thumbs up for hyper dip hyper dip is gonna be less more maintenance I feel like you feel this it's just like your finger just glides off of it. It's so so smooth straight out of the can and then you apply the dip coat and it's going to be even smoother I can imagine. Um, I mean there's nothing wrong with Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is, is still fine but the Hyper Dip is just a rejuvenated upgraded formula with uh, from Plasti Dip to Hyper Dip. Alright guys that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been wanting to get this video out to you guys for a while now. I know Hyper Dip has been out for a while. But in the comment section down below guys, let me know if you've tried Hyper Dip and if you did, let me know your experience with it, if you'll be using it over Plasti Dip. My name is Ihab Halat. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, be notified when I put up a new video. And you guys can also follow me on social media if you guys want to check out all my work on there. I post everything on there. If you guys want to send me a message, have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Comment down below if you guys have any questions as well. I answer pretty quick. My name, you have a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.